Welcome everyone to the Red Lounge, Rick Redman here. And we are now in week 12 of this Madden NFL 18 franchise for your Los Angeles Rams. So, looking at these free agents again, upcoming free agents for our team, we have to still make some decisions within the next few weeks, or next couple weeks rather, and see who are we going to decide to extend an offer to stay on the team. Right now, the bigger questions right now, at least on our team, is do we want to keep Maurice Alexander for $21 million, our starting strong safety, or LaMarcus Joyner, our free safety, at $20.2 million. Keeping them both would be very pricey. I ideally want to keep one of them, but that's the thing. Who do you choose? I mean, even though Alexander is the high overall, Joyner, I felt like, has been playing a little bit more better. And then we also have to decide on Tremaine Johnson. I think we franchised him, tagged him this year. But now, the next year, we're going to have to figure out, are we going to sign him to a long-term deal? $34 million for an 84 overall corner? Hmm. I don't know. That's a lot of money. I mean, we could also just re-sign Nikel Roby Coleman instead for $22.9 million, which is definitely cheaper. But he's only a 79 overall. Is it worth that much to give to somebody that's under an 80? So those are the decisions we're going to have to make within the next couple weeks here. So let me know what you guys think what we should do. In the meantime, we're going to, before we hand to our game action against the New Orleans Saints, who seemed like they were going to be a good playoff team come this year, have been devastated with some injuries, mainly Nick Fairley, a former Ram, and Michael Thomas, their star receiver, both out and also one of their corners too. So that's going to be a little bit of troublesome for the Saints here today as we go up against them at home here in the LA Coliseum as we are set to go in action here you see probably Drew Brees somewhere in the middle of that leading his little huddle charge or his huddle chant as usual Sean McVay getting his offense ready as we're trying to continue our winning ways here as we're getting closer to the playoffs and seeing how we have an upcoming matchup with the Seahawks that's definitely gonna be a game to look out for but here we go New Orleans starts off with the ball well actually they start with the ball here but we were both actually three and out on both our first drive so this is technically the Saints second possession of the game here so on third and five Breeze dropping back looking he's got so much time here almost gets sacked oh Robert Quinn almost had him and ooh, if Pete Threes were able to hit that, that would have been a big play. Probably that little tug by Robert Quinn kind of altered his throw. So now here comes Goff and the Rams. And, and look at Goff now making a missed throw or overthrow just like Breeze did. So both quarterbacks kind of struggling here so far. And oh, and look at this. Todd Gurley dropping a catch. That would have been an automatic first down. So that would result in us punting the ball. So now Saints back at it here. This time they're going to decide to run it and it actually works out for them with Mark Ingram. And now here comes AP, their other running back. And oh, missed tackle. Oh, another missed tackle. We got to take him down. And oh, luckily the sideline might have helped us right there. But Peterson with a huge run now inside the 20. But here on second and three, Breeze dropping back. He has to run away from the pressure. But Connor Barwin gets to him. So first sack of the game for him. Then on third and 11, next play here. With the quarter winding down. Here comes the pressure again. Oh, and it's Connor Barwin again. So two sacks back to back for Connor Barwin. This time from the other side. So that, that will give the Saints just a field goal after that drive. So luckily they're able to only give them a field goal. But now Goff here is trying to find somebody. Gets sacked. So still having some trouble on the offensive end. So now here come the Saints first possession, first play on this possession. It is picked though by Trumaine Johnson and Johnson's gonna throw easily for a touchdown. That's a pick six for Trumaine. He probably heard the rumors about him not getting re-signed and he's trying to make a statement that hey, maybe I do, maybe I do deserve that big money contract. Breeze, an uncharacteristic throw right there. Just easily to Trumaine Johnson. That was an easy pick six for him. So our first score is actually on the defensive end to give us the lead 7-3. Now midway through the second here, Breeze and the offense trying to get themselves back going here after that turnover. On third down, hands it off to Ingram for a first down. Here comes AP now. Ooh, AP running, getting them another first down. So the running game is the, the strength and attacking our number one ranked run defense. So looking pretty sharp on the run on the ground so far. 
Breeze now finds Ted Ginn who makes a nice spin move and gets enough for a first down. Saints marching down the field. No pun intended there. And then here we go. Oh, Breeze looks like he's going to run, but Robert, or sorry, Alec Ogletree lays a big hit, surprisingly then fumble. So now it's third and six here, Breeze. Looking, he's gonna find his target. Ooh, almost picked again by Tremaine Johnson, but this time he just bats it down. So that would force the Saints to go for another field goal. So Saints had some good last two drives, but gets stalled right in the red zone by our defense. So good job by them. Goff though, finally getting some success in the air, gets that completion. Then the next play. Finds Robert Woods again for another first down. Timeout here with 35 seconds to play before the half. Can we get some points on the board? Ideally a touchdown as Goff's gonna find Sammy Watkins who gets tackled at the five, but he fumbled. He fumbled right before he got into the end zone. Oh, that would be devastating right there. That call stands, but I want, let's take a look at this. I don't know for sure if he really fumbled before he went down. That may be that may be coming back, but thank goodness for Booth Review because we can't challenge it. So we got to hope for the Booth Review, and they do. And his knee is down. I'm pretty sure his knee is down before he fumbles it. And yeah, it's down. So that call better get overturned. If not, we're gonna have some problems. NFL, we are gonna have some problems if this gets over. If this does not get overturned, and we do get the ball. So okay, so it was overturned. So luckily. We can start right here, continue our drive here at the five now. First and goal, first play right after that booth review challenge. And it's a slant route to Robert Woods. Golf finds him for a touchdown. So now we increase the lead and go up by eight after this extra point. So now the offense starting to click here. Woods and the Rams celebrating as we head into the half, up 14 to six. Now Saints with the ball here to start the third. Here comes the screenplay to AP. AP still making some moves, breaking tackles, and finally gets tackled, but not until he gets a first down. Then on the next play, first and 10, Bree's gonna hand off to Ingram now, so this two back action with Ingram Peterson working wonders for them. Then on third and one here, Bree's gonna hand off to Peterson, which looked like we had him stopped, but oh, he, that second effort by Peterson just gets him enough for the first down. And now next play, play action. Oh, here comes the pressure. Oh, it's sacked. And look at who it is again. It's Connor Barwin. Three sacks in the game, six tackles. He is having himself a field day. Whoever is that right tackle. Oh my gosh, here we go again. Third and three. Barwin again. Four sacks for Barwin. This has got to be his best game of his career. I don't know. I don't follow Falva's career before he became a Ram, but that is, this has got to be it for sure. At least one of his best games so far in his career. As now we go back on offense here. Goff finding Cooper Cup for a first down. Then here it's start getting into the fourth quarter now. Gurley, who's been very quiet. We haven't really talked about him much except for that drop pass. Finally gets a, a big run there for a first down. Then on third and ten. Goff got plenty of time. He's gonna take a shot over the middle, but ooh, almost got picked actually. So instead, we're gonna go and settle for our three and go up by eight. So now Breeze, can he lead a fourth quarter comeback here with about six minutes to play? All they need is a touchdown and a two point conversion to tie it. Breeze, uncharacteristically running the ball and gets a first down after he slides. Down the next play, Breeze. Gonna fire over the middle, and this time it's a Willie Sneed. So, uh oh, here come the Saints. And the Saints go marching on. As you see here, third and two. We could have stopped them right there, but oh, AP again with the second effort. Missed tackles by our defenders all game long against Peterson, and that results in a touchdown. So now it's 15 7, so the Saints do have to go for two to tie it here. Breeze looking, he's gonna find. Oh, he finds Willie Sneed and converts the two points, so the game is all tied at 17 apiece. So now it's Goff's turn to respond. Can he get us the lead? So first play on play action here is gonna find Robert Woods for a big game inside Saints territory. As Woods is having himself a game, six catches, 90 yards and a touchdown. Then on second and 11 here, we're gonna go with the draw play and it looks like it works to perfection as Gurley 
gets all the way up for a first down. Down second and eight, two minutes to play here now. We're going to continue the handoff to Gurley, who's finally, even though having a quiet game, he's making the important runs here late in the late in the final stretches. Gets a first down here, down second and goal. A minute and ten here. Gurley is going to try to fight his way through the end zone, but gets stopped at the one. So now it's a big third and goal here. Can we convert? We got to hand it off to our star back, right? Gurley's got to fight it. Fight through, Gurley. Fight through. No. He gets stuffed. So it's fourth and goal at the one. Decision time here. We got to take the three. We have to take the three. This has got to be played safe here for now. And hope the defense, who hasn't played pretty well, can hold up Drew Brees and the Saints offense here. So we take our three. Zerline makes it. And here comes Brees now. He's got 59 seconds to work with to at least get him in the field goal range. So here we go, Brees now. This is on third and three here. Brees is going to find Kobe Fleener, but Fleener drops the ball. So that's going to result in fourth down. So fourth and three, biggest play of the game here. Brees looking, trying to find somebody. He's going to throw it over to the left side. Willie Sneed, he caught it. He caught it. Unbelievable. Two taps the feet on the sideline and gets out of bounds and stops the clock. Brees now with 25 seconds to play. He's got to make some magic work, but it's a huge sack. Big sack. Oh, wait. Well, it's a sack. Nonetheless, by Connor Barwin. You get the, you get the idea. Saints, no timeouts left, so they got to go and spike it, and they do. That's Connor Barwin's fifth sack of the game. So now I'm 4th and 19 here, probably the last play of the game. Bree's going to take a deep shot down the field and just knock it down, knock it down. Thank goodness. The ball gets knocked away and that's going to do it as the Rams survive and get a win against the New Orleans Saints 20-17 to at home. New Orleans with their record at 2-8. Could have pulled up an upset. This was an upset alert game right here. We had to stay on our toes. But glad we were able to pull it out here. Connor Barwin, man. That guy was a difference maker tonight. Five sacks in the game. Huge props to him as he's definitely the player of the game for us today. But thank you guys for watching this episode, guys. Until next time, this is Redman signing out.